Hey, this is Benjamin from Android Guys, and uh, we're going to take an exclusive look at Blue Planet Apps' BioLock application. And uh, a lot of you may have read some stuff on Android Guys or other places about BioLock and how it's going to bring bio biometric scanning um, for authentication to the Android platform. Um, this is, an, like I said, an exclusive look. Nobody else has a, an APK of this besides the people developing with it. And um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, now when you launch it, you're going to see that it's going to have to prepare for first time use. See if we can get that in focus. No, maybe. All right, we're not going to get it in focus. Biometric security. Please choose your authentication method. Okay, so um, our choices for authentication method are face, uh, voice, eye, and password. Um, Iris, um, I or Iris is actually not currently working in this build. Um, it will be coming. There are some things that have to be worked out. Um, but um, we will be able to check out the voice, password, and face. So let's load the face for the first time. Drag this over there. And it's initializing recognition as you can. Now let's see if it'll learn my face. Looks like it's scanning for my eyes, my pupils, or something. See at the bottom it says that it's learning. Now I'm wearing glasses, and it'll be interesting to see how that has an effect. We'll uh, we'll look at that later. Seems like it's taking a bit of time to to figure me out. It's almost done. All right. Now it says creating identity meta metadata metadata. So I guess it's building my profile for my face and uh, let's see how long that's going to take. Do, 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 do. Now, just while this is going, um, BioLock is going to be usable for a lot of great things uh, when it comes to securing your data. It can be it can be used as like a, a home screen locker. It could also be used for things like uh, securing a specific folder or securing a specific app so nobody can run the app it, unless they have unless they uh, have your biometrics. Uh, now you see this, you know, so it looks like what it's gonna, this particular program over here that I'm running just lets you into the SD card. Um, like I said, it's not integrated with anything specifically, it's just a test thing. So now, um, let's go ahead and try it from scratch. Uh, actually, let, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do a face scan and see how it goes. Stand by while I attempt to authenticate you. Authentication process complete. Okay, so that took, that took about three seconds uh, to get through. That's, uh, that's respectable. Um, from what I'm told by the developers, um, they plan to have it down to one, to one, to, around between one and two seconds, which I, I think is pretty fair. Um, they also plan to obviously um, have it working in different life, light conditions, um, glasses, no glasses. I want to actually try that one out right now. Let's go ahead and... Um, Remove my glasses. Glasses. Let's go back in. Stand by while I attempt to authenticate you. And that did not work. Um, I think that was actually just a small bug, being that this is uh, this is pre-beta. Let me uh, let it load up one more time. I apologize for that. And no glasses. Here Stand we go. Stand by while I attempt to authenticate you. Authentication 
authentication process complete. And it worked. Glasses, no glasses. It didn't matter. It did a pretty good job. Uh, that's that's very respectable. Um, now I don't have a low lighting condition. Um, I can create a low light condition. Just give me a second. That's a little too low. And that's also, all right, let me, let me try this. See if that's, if you can still see my face in this particular situation. I do not know if you will be able to, um, but we will try it. So let's go ahead, let's launch face. Stand by while I attempt to authenticate you. And in the dark, very dark again. This is a pre-beta. So that did not do so well. We'll try this one more time before we give up. Uh, low lighting. Let's see what happens. Okay, that wasn't really fair because that was that wasn't no that wasn't low light. That was no light. Let me go ahead and kick the light back on. And okay, either way, performed pretty well with glasses versus no glasses, which I thought was sorry, which I thought was pretty impressive. Um, all right, you you know can't win them all. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and launch the. I'll just show you what the enter password looks like. You do a basic password enter. A uh, little bug here where it shows a little already a character there, but you know, basic password. Oh, sorry, basic password entry, not a big deal. Um, and scan voice. Let's go ahead and see how this works. Um, so you got to select new user the first time. You got it, and it's going to ask you to press record and say the following numbers. So we're going to go through the process. Okay. 0579 5907 7095 9750 5790 7059 So it seems to be doing okay. Enrollment successful. Good. So what it seems to have just done was take a basic uh, blueprint of my voice with these with these uh, numbers so that when it asks me these numbers again it'll let me in. Now BioLock is going to be um, expanded I guess to say to include phrases and things like that. Um, they're working on a partnership right now with another company and um, that should prove to be pretty interesting because you can select your own phrase that you can say and it'll recognize your voice and the phrase you're using so that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try it out now see how it works validate existing or new user so it's validate existing 5097 9075 so it asks for it twice and says verification successful and lets you in now um, this is not necessarily how it's going to be used this is just a proof of concept uh, what will probably end up happening is that you'll have, I assume the company will make some sort of screen where it'll just automatically launch and you're supposed to talk when you launch that part. I don't think it's going to be with the holding, the press record every time and it'll ask you twice. Hopefully it'll just be streamlined, but um, I, I don't have confirmation on that right now. Like I said, this is just a prototype and proof of concept that it does in fact work. All right, um, looks like that's it. Um, this is Benjamin from Android Guys, and this has been an exclusive look at BioLock. Thank you.